2015, the entire international community welcomed the result of 12 years of intense negotiations on the Iranian nuclear program, 104 pages full of technical details, the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, the GCPOA. It is not a bilateral agreement. It does not belong to any single country, and it is not up to any single country to terminate it. It is a multilateral agreement which was unanimously endorsed by the United Nations Security Council Resolution 2231. It is a robust deal that provides guarantees and a strong monitoring mechanism so that Iran's nuclear program is and will remain exclusively for civilian purposes only. We cannot afford, as international community, as Europe for sure, to dismantle a nuclear agreement that is working and delivering, especially now. The International Atomic Energy Agency, the IEA, has verified eight times that Iran is implementing all its nuclear-related commitments following a comprehensive and strict monitoring system. There have been no violations of any of the commitments included in the agreement. The scope of the agreement relates to the nuclear program and is being fulfilled. The deal has prevented and continues to prevent, will continue to prevent, Iran from developing nuclear weapons. The Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action represents a key and functioning pillar of the international non-proliferation architecture that is even more important to preserve at a time of acute nuclear threat. We believe we have a collective responsibility to preserve it for our own collective security. The United States domestic process, and I underline domestic, following today's announcement of President Trump, is now in the hands of the United States Congress. The GCPOA is not a domestic issue, but a UN Security Council resolution. The international community and the European Union with it has clearly indicated that the deal is and will continue to be in place. The European Union continues to fully support the Iran nuclear deal and the full and strict implementation of all its provisions by all parties. The European Union, together with the rest of the international community, is committed to preserve it to the benefit of all, including the Iranian people.